I'm Sirio. I'm a, a mixing engineer from Switzerland, from uh, Lugano, the Italian part. Um, I'd like to tell you a little bit about how I got involved with uh, KS speakers, if you don't mind. Um, let's see. One of the key pieces of information that I kept hearing over and over and that I adopted, that was true, was that um, uh, you have to mix on bad speakers so that you can sound good everywhere, okay? And that the mixing engineer needs to train his ears. So if you get the picture, the speaker is God, right? And the mixing engineer needs to work with bad speakers and he needs to be trained. And if you're not trained, then only a very few people in the world can ever be trained like the best, you know, um, then you're not talented and you will never produce good mixes and that's all there is to it, period, right? So I said, well, I'm not going to give up. I'm going to get trained, you know. Two years went by and I've mixed on, um, let's see, I've mixed on Adams, I've mixed on, um, uh, I've mixed on Dyn Audios, I've mixed on uh, JBLs, I've mixed on Genelex, I've mixed, uh, mixed on Yamahas. Um, every single speaker had its own problems. Uh, I even had to deal with a pair of Samson monitors, or $40 monitors for a week. Uh, and they are just disgusting. Don't ever, don't ever pick those up uh, at Sam Asher Guitar Center. Um, and I've worked with all these speakers. At one point, I even got so desperate, I went and, and borrowed uh, an old Serwin Wega hi-fi uh, system with its own amp and said, well, this is going to sound good. Nope. Uh, it sounded good in the studio, but it didn't sound good in the car. You know, um, Sometimes I would pull up a compressor and I would go, well, theoretically, if you change the attack time, you know, it, it should do this, you know, and I couldn't hear it. I couldn't hear it. Or, you know, you change something on the reverb um, and something changes, but you can't tell how the sound changed. It wasn't clear. It didn't make sense. And I was always convinced it was me. Uh, to the point where I was, um, I was going to give up uh, live, you know, live and studio sound mixing completely. I was going to just leave that to professionals that had the talent and the golden ears. So at this, at this low point in my career, I was actually ashamed of, uh, you know, of calling myself a mixing technician, a mixing uh, an audio engineer. Um, Simon Schofield called me up uh, and... Uh, I've, I'd never met him. Um, I'd sort of worshipped him from afar. Uh, he's, uh, you know, he's won a Grammy for an Olivia Newton-John track that he engineered. Uh, he's worked on a lot of albums. Uh, some of the progressive rock stuff that he worked on is, is, you know, among my favorite. I mean, this guy really is, you know, an old stamp mixing engineer. You know, with that, with that, um, you know, with that London uh, sort of infusion. Uh, you know. Uh, which is where, you know, SSL and all that Abbey Road, all those Abbey Road sounds, uh, you know, that's, he's from that background. I was going, wow, I get to talk to Simon. Um, he invited me to listen to these speakers called KS. Um, I'd heard of them before. Um, he invited me over to listen to these things, and I went, ooh, there's something to these. So I took them back to my place to try them. Um, and the first thing I noticed... Um, was, uh, I just love the sound. <laughs> I mean, I just sat down and I went, ah, I played some of you know, my favorite records, the stuff that I really, really intimately know. And I went, yes, this stuff sounds awesome. The first mix I did on those speakers, I finished the mix, I said, you know, the mix sounds good. I brought it out and it was the first time that the really, really bad speakers in my car sounded exactly the same. Minus, of course, the alterations of the car, but tonally, the mix came across the same way. It had punch where I wanted punch, it was smooth where I wanted it to be smooth. You know, there was no weird frequency imbalance. <laughs> So I took them to another set of speakers, completely different. These ones had a subwoofer in them, and I'm going, good. You know, now all the nasty low end is just going to muddy everything up from the subwoofer. Nope. Turns out these, uh, these speakers, the ADM2s that I'd been using, little cones, little 8-inch cone, um, reproduced all the way down to the bottom of where that subwoofer reached accurately. I popped in the mix. No weird subwoofer problem. No wimpy bass. It was just right. And I went, wow. 
So I called up Norbert, the CEO. I asked, hey, Norbert, uh, you know, I'm producing a record. Can I please keep these? And I got to mix uh, this, uh, this album that will be being released shortly uh, called Hymns to the Future of Haiti. Uh, it's a very, 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 uh, very cool project. Uh, it's all independent uh, artists coming together to make tracks for Haiti. And I've had the honor of uh, producing and mixing, uh, producing the album and mixing most of the tracks on that album uh, on those KS speakers. And I've gotten lazy now. I can just do a mix and it sounds good on the speakers and that's it. I don't have to um, rush around. I've lost the, the no confidence factor. You know, if I walk into somebody else's living room, I'm not afraid to pop my mix in their CD player. Uh, you know, I've also, um, because you know that your speakers are right, now you can go good. Well, if there's something not right with the sound, then it's the room. You don't know if, if your speakers aren't right, or if you don't know if your speakers are right, you're always wondering, is it the speakers or is it the room? Or is it the signal? If there's three things, you can't say, well, it's not one, then it's the other. If it's not one, then it's got to be one of the other two. And that's when you go insane, you know? So with the speakers being dead on and being removed, now you know it's either the mix or it's the room. And quite on top of all of that, now being able to get the room straight and get the mix straight, um, suddenly, if you take a compressor and you go from 40 to 110 milliseconds of attack time, the sound goes like this. You go, why have I never noticed that before? It's just night and day. So now it's no longer, well, they say that a snare should have such and such an attack time, so let me put it there and then nah, let me tweak it a little bit and I didn't really hear it. Now I just take the knob, turn the knob, good, good, better, not so good. That's it. You just dial it right in and you hear every single little change. Um, I've just never had anything like it. I happen to know this one particular studio out in Los Angeles uh, loves PMC. They're just like big PMC hogs. PMCs have this huge bump at 5K and this huge dip at 2K, right? It's, it's right on their specs. Um, they sound great, by the way, when you mix on them, you know, because uh, they, they, they are quite punchy speakers, PMCs, but they have these irregularities, you know? Everything that comes out of that studio is got... 2K and they have no 5K whatsoever. And it's just, it's, it's the trademark sound of that studio. So I made a comparison. I took a look, I said, uh, you know, I want to do this, this is my business. I want to do this professionally. I'm getting into this as a career. Um, what am I going to buy that's going to be my monitoring solution? Uh, you know, what am I going to crank out record after record on? What am I going to audition on? What am I going to do final mixes on? What am I going to uh, check other producers' takes on? What am I going to use? Um, and uh, KS really is the only company that's taken a completely different approach. Uh, there's all these traditional name brand sort of uh, speakers. You know, I could go with a pair of Westlakes or uh, with a pair of Genelex. You know, um, they sound great. You know, you tell an audience, well, I mix on Genelex. You know, that's all real snobby and stuff. Um, but KS is the only company in the last, you know, what is it, uh, 20 years, um, that has taken the concept of a speaker and has gone back to basic and then has taken a completely different approach to it. Everyone else has been evolving materials. and PMC did the advanced transmission line blah, 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 you know, we did this and that, and, uh, but, you know, KS just went all the way back to the beginning and took a completely different approach, and it's a totally different technology, uh, and it's something really, really unique. And if you're a professional, and if you want to make money in the business, which means that you have a volume of production to turn out, you don't want guesswork, you want exact results. And it goes without saying that I bought the speakers. Cause when the wind is cold and the sky is dark You and I can change it all If we're brave enough to rise above We're living in a world in need of love Together we can heal the scars This world belongs to all of us No matter who, no matter where you are Know that dreams are not too far Standing in my darkest